Hey everybody, we are live. My name is Ian Davidson and this show is called On The Go. What are you going to get in this show? I do not know. It's the first one of hopefully many. Um, maybe we'll figure that out. But this week we do have a guest. I'm really excited about her. Her name is Lenore Mollison. She's a 12-year-old guitar player here locally in Hawaii. Hello. Hi. Hey. It's nice. To it's, this is a huge opportunity for me. I, this is so exciting. Thank you. Uh, right on. I'm super excited, too. That's really cool. Thanks for being on. Uh, so we, everybody sees your guitar here. Everybody probably talks about you being a 12-year-old guitar player. I want to know more about you first, because I, I will talk about this, because I think this is really cool. I do know a couple things. I know that you are homeschooled, and I want to get that out, so out of the way. What is that like? It's fun. Well, it's kind of hard because what you have to do is you, it's regular school, but you're at home. But the cool thing about it is that on your breaks, you get to play video games and you get to eat snacks during it whenever you want. That's cool. Okay, so it's a recess all day? No. Yeah, basically. What is, what is a school day like? Well, usually uh, I do it online, and there's little suns, I guess. That's what you would call it. It's yellow. And those are the stuff I have to do. And I just repeat those stuff. Sometimes if I do it too quickly, then um, uh. I work ahead. So then next day I don't have to do it. When you're doing because you're at home school, do you ha how do you deal with uh, friends? Well... Tomorrow, actually, I, I go to Face to Faces, and those are my other classmates. And basically, they're my friends, and I see them twice a month. So that's basically my friends that I see. So it's like an online school? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a little, that's cooler. Because everybody's doing that now, right? Like, that's sort of the future, yeah? Everybody's mm -hmm. online. So how did you get into this? Like, online school, does that get you into guitar playing? Uh, no. Well, six years ago, uh, my sister wanted to play guitar. And my mom said, give a year and see if you like it. And if you keep doing it, we'll pay for the lessons and everything. So two weeks, my sister didn't really want to do it, um, the practices. But then I got a hold of it, and I started to like it more. And after that first year, I told my mom I want to keep doing this. And here I am. Did it feel like, did it, feel like it came natural to you? Yeah, well, it is very hard. It's very hard to play and to, you know, get the practices done and make sure that your fingers don't go soft. What does soft mean? What do you mean by that? Um, if, well, the strings are very, very hard. So you have to work up your muscles and you've got to work up the skin so you can handle it. So is that why you were outside, like, always constantly going on it? Yes, because you need to warm up the fingers to get the blood going and then you can play. That's cool. We're going to check out a video we found online of you playing just to take a quick look at that. All right? Hey, we're back. That was uh, Lenore playing there. It was like a jam, I think. It was like some sort of free jam. I don't know. Do you remember what that was? Uh, yes, it was uh, original. It's about my little sister and her temper tantrums called Evangeline's Rage. That's cool. So your band is called? Underage Thinking. And are you writing these songs for you that, you, that band? Yes, I am. That's cool. What's the process like for you? To, at such a young age, it seems really cool that you're writing your own songs. Well, it... I just make up stuff while I watch TV, so oh. I, I just goof around and then I watch like my favorite shows like The Office US, fa US version and then my mom's like, wait, no, no, that's a really good thing, we should make that into a song and then I put it together like a puzzle, like all the recorded parts and then I try and piece together and put bridges. 
So you, you said you are in a band, so there's another member if there's a band, right? What, how many members are in this band? There's only me and my drummer, Noah. Noah. Where is Noah right now? He is at school. Okay, so no, Noah goes to regular uh, Yes, he goes to regular school. What, is, is that the term, the proper term, regular school, if you're yeah. homeschool? That's how you say it. Okay, cool. So if, if he was off today, he'd be here? Yes, he oh, would. Cool. And he's, he plays the drums. So what part does he play in the writing of the, of the songs? I think I do more of the music stuff, and he helps me write out the lyrics. Oh, that's kind of neat. So I, I know I looked online. There's a whole lot of covers that you've done, and I know that you did Kids in America, which I think is interesting. Uh, how did you come upon that, that song? Like, how did that one, how did you choose that one to cover? My drummer's dad, his name is Mr. Teeter, I call him that because he's a grown-up, and he suggested Kids in America because it's a long song, and if you have a long set, you can play that out and just jam to it. I think that's really cool because it's sort of like business thinking in the longer sense. Like, if you're, like, on, on a show, that's a good song to know how to play. Yeah. If you're going to do a show, if you need to fill a lot of space. Yeah, because right? cool. everyone knows it. You have a jam that you can pull out, right? And everybody loves that song. That's cool. It has nothing to do with her being a female and being a big star. No, no. That's cool. Who are your? Who inspires you to? Like, what bands are you into? Or what? Who? Wait. Who are your favorite guitar players? My favorite guitar player of all time is Sinister Gates, but I don't know any solos mm -hmm. by him because he's very, very hard to play. I also like Gail and Dorsey because she, well, she actually was. Um, she got self-taught. Even though she plays bass, she's played with all the big guys. Oh, that's neat. So do you aspire to be like them, or do you try to be just you? I try to be more like them, because, well, they're big and everyone knows them, like mm -hmm. all the people who like rock. That's cool. what, so do you want to be a big rock star? Yes. Well, I kind of want to be like Weezer, because uh, I don't fine. know what I want to do yet. I mm -hmm. either want to be a veterinarian or a guitar player, but I'm kind of in the middle right now. So what favorite music? What's, the, what's your favorite music to play, I guess? Rock and punk, definitely. Punk rock. Who's your favorite punk rock band, I guess? That's hard. Yeah. I don't really know a lot of people, but I stick to the same people. I know that you said you played some Offspring. Is that what you said? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. That's cool. Are you, I watched online. You have like these little things where you're sitting in front of the computer playing. playing. Is that at school? No, that's just at home. That's at home. Is that how you're learning? Mm -hmm. I go onto YouTube and I go to the site called Chris Suba. He's on YouTube, and then I just click random videos and hoping that some's gonna like something. And then when I finish that solo, I go to something like that, like the same band person. That's usually what it happens like. Well, that's neat. So you go literally onto YouTube to learn how to play songs. Mm -hmm. So you've learned guitar via the internet, kind of. Yeah. That's neat. Uh, uh, let's um, maybe we could check out another video and see what what you got coming. back let's that was cool that was cool but you know what's cooler what? is if we can do some of that live here for us are, are you cool with playing something for us yes what do you have to play for us I have Eddie Van Halen eruption all right let's take a listen <laughs>
that was rad. So how long did it take you to learn how to play that? It took me about three months because there's a lot of parts to it. That seemed pretty complex. Y it is. Yeah. Do you are you super excited when you get to play that? Yeah. Do you, do you play that at, with your band? Is that how it works? No, it's just, well, I do play it as a solo, but it doesn't include any drums or anything. Oh, exciting. So what, you're into Van Halen? Is that a group that you're into? What's your favorite Van Halen song, other than that? I only know one song yeah. by him, and that's Eruption. Oh, that's cool. Um, you do get to play out? Did you play gigs and stuff like that? I have before. I have played at Ward Rafters and I Heart Kailua Festival. Mm -hmm. What is that? That uh, it's a big festival in Kailua that people. It's basically a big festival like a block party, and they're at Whole Foods. That they put the band on at Kailua Music School, and basically you just play. I mean, it's basically what it sounds like. That's cool. So. Tell me about this Kailua Music School. I saw a little hashtag and, and stuff on your photos. I don't really know anything about this. This is the first time I'm he hearing about it. What, tell me about that. Kailua Music School, it's a music school, obviously. There's lessons there, and the owner, Aaron Carey, he lets the kids play for free, and he's amazing. He's like a fun uncle. So he gets gigs for them, and then they play there. That's really cool. I want to talk about more of that when we come back from this break. Uh, it's going to be like a fifth, like about a minute break. We'll talk more about that, all right? All right. All right. This is uh, On The Go. I'm Ian Davidson. We're with Lenore Mollison. We'll be right back after this uh, message. Hello. Ha. How you doing? It's me, Angus McTech. Wish you need a welcome and join us to see us on Hibachi Talk on Think Tech Hawaii. Join my co-hosts, Gordo the Tech Czar and Andrew the Security Guy every Friday from 1300 to 1345. We look forward to seeing you. We'll talk tech and we'll have some wee bit of fun. And remember, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha! Hi, I'm Stan Energy Man and I want you to be here every Friday. Noon. ThinkTechHawaii.com. Watch the show. Be there. I pity the fool who ain't. We're back. I'm Ian Davidson. This is On The Go. Thanks for tuning in. If you're listening on the podcast or watching on YouTube, thanks for listening. And be sure to subscribe in whichever sort of medium you're watching. us. That's really cool of you. Things are really looking up for us here at Think Tech. We appreciate it. We are here with Lenore Mollison, a guitar player here locally. We were just talking about all of uh, her experiences learning how to play. We're now talking about uh, Kailua Music School, something that she's uh, attending. You were just saying that it's a place for people to come and play music. Is it just for kids? No, adults can play there too. So it's like just basically an open sort of jam space? Yeah, well you have to talk to Aaron Carey, the owner, and then get a slot in it and then you can get a practice. That's cool. So you said he gets you gigs as well? Yes, he does. So you don't have to do any of that work, right? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's sometimes the hardest part when you play an instrument is getting somebody to actually say yes, come play yeah. here. You know, that's kind of, that helps probably a lot. It's a lot harder when you're young because no one thinks that you're actually good. Because oh. imagine like being a grown up and then seeing this 12 year old kid band thinking that they're just going to plunk some instruments in and play a little song, you know? I never thought about that. So do you get that a lot? People thinking, oh, she's just some 12 year old. Like, what's the why? Yeah, uh, yeah. What does that feel like? It's a little discouraging, but as soon as they see you play, they're like, wow. That's kind of cool. You, when you do play, it makes people say, wow. Um, do you mind playing something else for us? Uh, sure. Do you mind if I play an original? Oh, please. I, I think that would be cool. What is it called? It's called Mind Control. It's about, uh, it's uh, a book. Well, the original book about minds is Dr. Jekyll, uh, yeah, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but since it's me and my bandmate Noah, I'm the mean one and he's the nice one. Fun. <laughs>
Coast Guard Protects your dreams Keeping them safe so the children can sleep She likes the dark cool about that the whole time you were playing that I was thinking about some guy that probably thinking oh here's some 12 year old and then you play something like that they probably would never second guess you again that was pretty cool that was punk rock you think Thank that you. was punk rock you feel yeah. punk rock I do that's cool so how many songs do you have that you've written I guess I'd say about six I've got a couple in the making but I don't really know I'll have to like go back and count I are you trying to make an album? Like, is that sort of part in your, your Yeah, mind? I'm trying to make a CD. Yeah, that's cool. So, when you know the whole process of making that? Is that fun for you? Yeah. Uh, like, what are your parents' role in all of this? Like, what do they do for you? Well, my mom, she's my oh, momager. Oh, that's yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and my dad, he's kind of, he's kind of the um, strong guy who, he's kind of like a roadie. Oh, that's cool. He carries all the stuff. That's a good dad. He carries all the stuff. Uh, um, Back to the school. I think this is really neat. So how, where does somebody go then to find that? Is there a website or something for some kid out there that was looking for the same sort of chances that you're getting? I think so, yeah. He, um, if you look it up, he has his number on there. And if you go to the school, it's, um, it's by the new Target in Kailua. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a big warehouse. And if you go in, if there's brochures there, and if you ask him about it, he'll give you some tips and stuff. It's called the Kailua Music Center? Kailua Music School, yeah. M music School. Check that out. Google it. All that kind of stuff. That's really fun. Do you have any sort of plans to be playing out soon? I any gigs? Yeah. Well, this Saturday, I'm playing at the Kidney Foundation here in downtown. That's cool. So do you have, is your band member going to be with you? Yes. That's cool. Yeah. So are you going to play your six songs, or do you have a set list already? We have a set list. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a set list, and then we're going to practice it, and then we're going to go there, and then we're going to play. That's cool. So how many of those, are there going to be covers mixed in with the originals? Yeah, you we're going to play some covers, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Well, we ha saw some video of you playing some Green Day. Is, is it okay if we play a little bit of that on, on the show really quick? That is absolutely All perfect. Right, let's take a look at some of those. Some green. Yeah. 
that was pretty cool, I must say. Um, we saw your band member there, Noah, mm -hmm. playing the drums. What? He's a pretty good drummer, yeah? He is a very good drummer. Is, what is it like playing with a drummer uh, that's as equal, I guess, equally as good as you? It's very, very good playing with it. It's um, actually, I'm going to say it's amazing playing with a drummer because it keeps you on time. Because if, if you're at home and you're playing a song, you need a backing track to it. Mm -hmm. And that's what also what I look up on YouTube and try and keep the backing track on. And then when you go there, it's, it's very, very, it's precise. Well, that's cool. Do you think he, what would you think he would say about you as a guitar player? I think he'd say, well, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, he probably thinks you're awesome if he's deciding to play with you all the time. That's for sure. He's a, he's quiet. He's yeah. quiet. Oh. But we'll have to talk to him sometime. I think drummers are pretty cool. They're cool dudes. Um, let's talk about that school once again. We did see you playing there. I'm really intrigued by this because I think education is really cool. And I think this whole sort of the homeschool experience, I think, balled up with all this music experience that you're getting is turning you into a rock star. Because you've got this sense of, like, you know, I can do it on my own. You've got people behind you pushing you to do good at what you want to do. And you ha seem to have the desire to want that. And I think that that equals something really cool in the end. And you're, this is good stuff for you. And I think this is kind of stuff that other kids should get a chance to have. What do you think about that? You think every kid should get this chance? or? Yeah, I think kids should like put themselves out there sometimes because if you put yourself out there, then you're going to have a lot of opportunities. But if you don't, you're going to miss a lot. Right. I mean, this opportunity, I have to thank Aaron again. Thank you, Aaron. I really enjoy this, and thank you for letting me on. Yeah, no problem. I, I, this is cooler for us, believe me. This is really good stuff. Um, let's hope people watch this online. It's going to be fun. I know, speaking in the break, that you asked me if you could take a moment to give your uh, relatives a shout out, and you want to do that? Yes. All right, just look right at the camera, and they'll this camera right here, and you can do it. Thank you. Well, Grandpa, uh, Grandpa Robert Harry, happy birthday today, Gay, and happy birthday, Grandma Betty, uh, Great Grandpa Betty, happy birthday, and another shout out is to two days from now is my great aunt, my aunt's birthday, my dad's sister. So happy birthday! Ah, that was awesome. Do you want to? Do you have anything else you can play for us? We've got about like two more minutes of the show to go. Sure. Do you have something you want to play for us? Yeah, I'm gonna play a little bit of Metallica, awesome. the Four Horsemen solo. So cool. Do you like playing Metallica? Yeah, they're they're really really fast. You like that? That's cool. There, is it is it easy to play Metallica or faster stuff? It's easier or faster with me because I think all the hard stuff is easy, but when I get to like something slow, it's kind of hard. Tell me about singing. I know we we had you sang your song, and I know guitar. Ever you're the guitar player, guitar, but you're also clearly a singer. Tell us about that. Like, what's that like? It's kind of difficult to play with the guitar because you gotta hold yourself so longer, and you gotta match up the right notes. Like I said, it's a puzzle to keep to put all the singing and the guitar together and the drums. What's harder for you, the singing or the guitar, fitting that puzzle piece in? I think the guitar is much harder because you gotta put your fingers in the right place and on the right frets, and with singing, it's. Singing is the same as guitar, but I think guitar is much harder. Would you do you see yourself being a singer guitar player in the long run? Like when when in the future when you become a big rock star, do you plan on being a a singer or do you want to be the guitar player? I want to be the I want to be both cuz sometimes with other people they they slack off a little bit, but if you're just the singer and the guitar player then you count on yourself. That's cool. We've got about two more minutes left. I think we have another video. Do you mind if we go to one more to see a little bit more of you for the TV watchers? Knock yourself out. All right, cool. <laughs> that was good.
He's my little sister in the background playing your Gario. <laughs> Lenore Mollison of Underage Thinking, you are you rock star in Thank the making. You. That's super cool. Thanks for being on. I really appreciate it. And I'd like to, uh, to let everybody know. Look for her because whichever look for her because her and her band member Noah are going to be big rock stars and you're going to want to get them into your life. With that said, we got to go because we've run out of time. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me here. It was a blast. Thank you. That was on the go. I don't know if you're ever going to get to see another one of these or, uh, or whatever, but do make sure to watch Think Tech Hawaii and all the other great shows that we have. Um, we're on all the time. Just subscribe to them on YouTube or whatever. Follow us on, show, on social media, etc. You will have a good time. All right, thanks, Ian David. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs>